Hey, welcome to Quiz Show. My name is Brandon. I'm going to be walking you through how to play Quiz Show, through all the settings, how to host it, and how to make this an awesome new addition to your next event. All right, so before we can start, you know that these games work with these uh, wireless buttons. We got some wireless buttons here from uh, affordablebuzzers.com. We'll give you a link uh, down below. But if you, right now, before the game even starts, you can check your buzzers to make sure they're all working. It looks like they are. So we are all set to go. So let's get, let's play some Quiz Show. All right, Quiz Show is made up of five categories with five questions in each category. So let's take a look at our categories. Category one is dad jokes. We'll give you the joke, you give us the punchline. Opposite song lyrics. These are song lyrics, but everything in there is backwards and you gotta sort it all out and give us the correct uh, song title. Yeah, science, stuff she learned in school, history, and then movies. Okay, this is our game, our control screen. You can see it looks very similar to that. So if someone says they wanna do dad jokes for 100, you just click on dad jokes for 100. The question comes up there and people can buzz in and you can see when they buzz in, the questions go up there. You can see it just jumps right in there. What do you, what do you call an out of shape unicorn? Let's say uh, an elephant. No, that's not wrong. An out of shape unicorn, that's a rhino. Correct. So then when you hit back to game board right here, that will shuffle the, the, the leaderboard and put whoever's lost points, if they get the question wrong, they lose points down there, and whoever's got the most points goes to the top. And you'll also notice there's an outline, but that's the person who got the last correct answer. So that way you know who's in control of the board. Saying, so, okay, uh, team number four, you have control of the board. What would you like to do? We'll say, let's do history for 500. If they say history for 500, ooh, man, that's a super aggressive move, just jumping right into the 500s. All right, so history for 500. Uh, which explorer was the first to circumnavigate the globe? Uh, we can buzz in there and say that would have been Magellan. And the answers are right down here. You can hit correct or wrong. I'll go ahead and hit correct. The points will be awarded to team number three. We'll go back to the game board. Okay, so now you all have seen this. That's how you play the game, a whole lot of fun. But now we're gonna take it up a notch because this is, I have a point right here. This is version three. So if you're in th version three or above, check this out. Okay, this is the buzzer. You're gonna put this to the side right here. I'm gonna bring in an iPad. We can now send people to ccg.buzz, so uh, ccg.buzz. So you log in with your, your device, so it can be anywhere in the country. So you can be playing over Zoom, remotely, or anywhere you want. And check this out. Now when I ask a question, I'll take dad jokes for 200. So I'll click on that, and as soon as I click on it, that lights up, and now this person can buzz in, and you'll see him go right there to the top. And they know, oh, that was Brad from Team 2 uh, asking that question. So Brad, what do you think the answer is? What should you do if you're attacked by a pack of clowns? Well, I know that the correct answer is you go for the juggler. So that is correct. We go back to the game board. All right, and so the, the last but not least, we gotta, we gotta recognize, we got a new win cycle here. So when I click on winner, yep. New win cycle, new fireworks. Oh yeah, bigger and better than ever. <laughs> That's a new win cycle just for you guys. Now, if uh, you can play that whenever you want, but we just, that way, we made that super flexible. So if you wanna play a two minute game show, a three minute game show, or play six rounds or two rounds, just whenever you have a winner, just click on that one and you can end the game. It makes it nice and fun. The Quiz Show version three has a whole bunch of updates. So let's jump in and look at how we make all of that happen. So let's just start off and we'll go down through the settings right here. And this kind of walk us through how everything works. So like most of our games, you've got the on off button here. So if you turn it off, the, green, the screen will turn off and just by clicking that on, it puts the game up there on the big screen. Now we got a screen selector right below that. And so if you have multiple uh, uh, displays connected, so I'm on a MacBook, so I'm going uh, Thunderbolt or USB-C to a little adapter to HDMI, then HDMI to a, a screen. And so that screen could be a projector, a switcher, video wall, whatever you want to do there but then we can select which screen. This will show all the screens connected to the game at that time. If you add a screen, you'll need to restart the game. But then we also have this thing called custom fit. Custom fit's awesome. So what you can do here is you can actually, you can tell it what size and what location where you want that to be. So I, I wanna, you can bump it in location X, Y and get a new position or put on a different screen. But this is great for if you're gonna be playing on Zoom or something like that, you could just, uh, from Zoom, you could go in and shrink this, uh, shrink the UI down. And now all of a sudden, when you're on a Zoom call, you could, you could share just that smaller screen and then control it from here when a much smaller, it's much more manageable that way. But for now, we're just gonna go back to uh, screen two and put it up there on the big screen. Okay, so next up, and then we're gonna work down here, we've got the, the logo screen. When you turn that on, that goes to the logo, plays the music. And then right below that, we have these sliders. The sliders are the music and sound effects. So you can hear that it will turn up and you can turn the music all the way down. And then, the, so that's the music. And then sound effects are any of the, the timers, alarms, or bells, or buzzers that are going off. So you can just 
adjust all those right there. Then right below that is the custom logo. People are always asking us, hey, can I customize it? So what if you don't put your own logo in there? Well, check that out. So I got a friend who's got a B Love International, really shout out to B Love International. You can do the B Love logo and put right in there and all of a sudden the quiz shows now branded for that, uh, for that company or that organization. So it's a really cool way to play with people and make them feel like it's not just a quiz show, it's their quiz show. Now, we're gonna jump past game clock and budget time all the way down here to uh, background alpha. I'm gonna turn off the background alpha and you can see now their brand, so B-Love International is now branded all the way around. Even when I turn the logo loop off, the game screen now has a whole new look and a whole new feel. Now here's the crazy part. I, if I turn my screen off, <laughs> that's just my desktop. So what I've done, this is a really clever little move, is we're just turning off the background alpha and revealing the desktop. So if you wanted to, uh, say you had another background, like we did a game night with our family. So if I can find my mouse, if I click over to here to change my desktop background, then I come back to the game. Now all of a sudden the game is branded for our family game night. So now we have a really fun family game night that looks really, really cool. So I'm just super happy with how it turned off. It's a really fun, easy way to uh, brand entire events. So, so we've talked about uh, the, turn the logo loop on and off, talk about the sliders, the custom logo, uh, the game clock is just, it's real simple. When you turn that on, you're gonna see the game clock pop up there. And the reason we have that is for people who, you know, they, they need to play for eight minutes or five minutes. You can really limit the game. You don't have to finish the entire board because that can take a while. You can say, hey, we're gonna do a five minute game show. And then so do that. So just type in five and hit update. And you can see now I have five minutes on the clock. Then I just go over here and I can hit start. And now I got five minutes. Whoever's at the top of the leaderboard in five minutes is gonna be our winner. You can pause the clock right here. I just hit the pause and hit start again. Or if you've started it too soon, you wanna reset, you just hit update right there. And that will push it back up to five minutes and then start the clock over again. So that is the game clock. I'll turn that off for now, I'll keep it simple. And then buzzer time up. Uh, so the buzzer time is, that's whenever we're playing ccg.buzz and that's all across here. We'll get to that next. But see, the buzzer timer, is from when people buzz in, we want to, we're gonna give them a time before it shuts off. So, so that timer is set for 10 seconds right now. I can set that down to five seconds if I want to. And just for this demo, we're gonna set to up uh, for four seconds. So now whenever I click on that, this will turn on, you'll see the, the buzzer, the timer up there. And then all of a sudden when the timer runs out, the, the buzzer, so now this is locked up and you can't buzz in. So it turns off the buzzers after a certain amount of time. So that just keeps it from going on forever. When that goes, ah, 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 and you can move on to the next one. So. That is the game timer. But now, so that leads us into the ccg.buzz. Uh, we can enter a title right here. So if I kind of want to call this 80s trivia, and then it's like 80s trivia there, and I'm gonna turn that on, and that's gonna generate a code. Turn on the, turn the, put it on the screen right there. Whoops, Hit, turn on the screen. So now we're gonna see there's, uh, so if I'm broadcasting this over Zoom, it would say, go to ccg.buzz and enter, enter a code M95Z, so I just come down here, hit join room code, type in, and if I type in the wrong one, so if I hit M95D, if I hit next, you're gonna see it's gonna go red and say, no, sorry, that doesn't exist. So I go, oh, I 95, oh, it's 95Z. So I just type in Z, and then hit enter, and you see, boom, there it is. So I'm Brad, and I'm gonna enter team number two, and hit next. So, it's, so now you can see, here's the room title, Here's my name, but this can be on an iPhone, iPad, uh, Chromebook, anything that can surf the web can now join. Now, the when they first log in, they're gonna see this, it's gonna say join when they first start. So I, if I click join, then I, it's, gonna, it's gonna make the little sound say I've buzzed in. Then back over here, there's a thing that says roll call. And when I click on roll call, it'll actually tell me who's buzzed in so far. So I've got one person from team two is the only people that are buzzed in. So that's a really cool way to kind of uh, get this whole thing a rolling. So wait until you've had uh, lots and lots of people buzzed in, and then when you're ready to play the game, you'll hit show points, and that's gonna put all the points up there on the screen, and that's gonna take this feature away because we don't need it after that. So once we get started, it's gonna, that's gonna clear out. You don't see roll call down here anymore. So now every time someone buzzes in, you'll see a count there. But just remember, if you are playing with, um, from the website or from the ccg.buzz, the first person on that team will be the only person that shows up in the leaderboard. If, say you have 30 people on each team, that way you can see even if like Joe buzzes in first on team four, so if 20 people buzz in, you'll see the number there, but on the, on the board, you'll only see the first person to buzz in. And then right down here, this is an interesting feature, is uh, show names from ccg.buzz. Say I'm gonna buzz in here, 
and I'm gonna buzz in as Brad, but let's say somebody's buzzed in and they put in a swear word or something you don't want right there. Well, you can just come down here to the, uh, if I turn that off, then all of a sudden it'll just say the team name and that uh, the person's name will go away. So that's a way to moderate someone from putting in something you don't wanna see up on your big screen right there. So you can just turn on or off right there. So that is ccg.buzz. That's a huge update. We're super proud of this, super happy. Hope you guys have a really good time uh, using that. Okay, so that's ccg.buzz. We've gone through all the settings. Is we got this new uh, this new reactions tray, and we're really happy with how this turned out. So if someone does something crazy, so say someone asks, uh, someone says, "I'll take you know history for 500," and then you can go, "Oh my gosh, history for 500." They're not gonna mess with the one through 400. So you can just click on right here on the. Uh, Oh man, super aggressive move. And so it's just a funny way to add a little extra. Or if someone gets one who hasn't done it in a while. Wow, that's impressive, good job. And then are you, or if they, hey, you got one, all right, congratulations. So these three, there's three animations with three audio tracks, but you can edit whatever they say in here. So instead of wow, you can just, if you've got a slogan or uh, a person like go, uh, go Joe, then you can hit update that, and then when you click that, all right, go Joe, good job. And so it's a way you can add in some inside jokes, uh, add people in there, but these are just a fun way to add a little bit of extra animation, a little bit of energy, some little jokes and humor to the game as it's going on. So I'm gonna close that. Okay, so uh, now let's head over here to the leaderboard. Let me do a real quick walkthrough on how you're gonna set up your leaderboard. So I'm gonna turn off ccg.buzz right now, and you'll see now I've got the option to edit names. If this is live, you, you can't edit names, so that's locked in. So if you wanna edit the names, you gotta turn that off. Now if I want, I can I can hit edit names down here, and now I can add up to uh, up to nine different people. So I can just keep on adding people to that. I can just select this and type in whoever I want. So if this is Team Joe, uh, hit save names, and then they're all in there, right there. So essentially you can have 10 people, and you can see that's what 10 people looks like. And just in case you're curious what the background screen, we still have the, uh, let me go ahead and clear that back to the game screen. You can see what it looks like with uh, a whole lot of people. It still looks kind of cool. Uh, so that's a fun one to have. So uh, so back here to the, the leaderboard, uh, you can edit names here. So if you wanna if you wanna get rid of people, just unclick them right here. I'm just gonna get all the way back down to just our original four. And then, um, you can also see down here on the side, it says buzz three, buzz four. That's the actual keyboard shortcut that you'll use to, to buzz those people in. So if I ask a question, I can buzz in player four right there. Or if someone's buzzed in, like say, um, say this person buzzes in, and they're, oops, I didn't mean to do that, then you can just click that button and unbuzz them. So it's a really cool way to, to buzz somebody and then unbuzz them by just clicking that button right there. So, or if someone's hitting their button and it's not working, then you can just kind of help them out and just push that button for them. So that is how you add people, use the buzzers, uh, and then uh, edit the names. Now right next to that is edit scores. And so if you want to say someone's messed up and you said they got the answer but they didn't, or just something's happened and you've messed up the score, just go down here to the bottom and just hit edit score. And what you'll see is this plus minus will bump out. So usually it's like, oh, uh, team four, he actually didn't get that, so let's subtract 200 points from them and give 200 points to them, and then just hit save score down here at the bottom. And that's a real quick, easy way to get in there and um, and, uh, and at the score. So the leaderboard is super helpful. You can have up to 10, uh, 10 teams, 10 people or 10 teams. If you're using the ccg.buzz, you can have, we don't know the limit. I mean, it's, it's a lot. So you can have, like, you'd probably have 20 people on each team. So you could probably have two or 300 people playing this. That might get a little bit out of control but it's gonna be as but the website could handle it as they're pumping them back into here. Okay, so we've looked at everything. So we've got all of our settings are over here. We've got ccg.buzz across the bottom. We've got the, uh, the leaderboard here. Now the, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to edit the questions because people ask us this all the time. So if you click on edit, hit edit, and it's gonna slide in our question editor. Now this is our default questions. So there is no way to edit these because they're the default. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a save as and that's gonna let me add a whole new name to it. So let me call this like my questions and let me call this like demo, because this is a demo and then I'm just gonna hit save. And now when that happens, now you'll see there's a save button down here. And then this now, the my questions demo is now up there. So these are your categories here and these are the questions and answers in each category. So if I wanna call this dad jokes two 
or if I want to go in and change this to something completely different, like let's say this is going to be uh, uh, state capitals, and then um, then if I hit save, that's going to put state capitals as now. That's now the the category. So the question number one would be um, uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. That's an easy one, and so we know the answer to that is Oklahoma City. Okay. Okay, H H O M A, Oklahoma. I think I messed that up. O K L A H O M A. Okay, there's a song and everything. Uh, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I can't spell. Man, I hope I can edit this out later. Okay, so the category is state capitals. The question is Oklahoma, and the answer is gonna be Oklahoma City. Now, some people will want to go and put a return there, and make it Oklahoma City, and stack it. This program will automatically word wrap for you. And the reason we do that is this is a database. And if you put a carriage return in there, it can mess up the data. Just like if you're in a spreadsheet, a hard return will take you to the next signal. So if I go and try to put a return in there, it'll just, it'll just stop typing and your cursor will just go away. So just know you can't do a return in there. You can put more spaces in until it word wraps for you, but you can't put a return, uh, you can't return by itself. But just let it word wrap for itself usually will get you pretty close to what you want. Type in your categories here, questions here, answers here, and when you're done, you just hit save. Now, if for some reason you wanna open a new file, I can click open file, and that's going to uh, give me my list of other questions so I can just load in. This one we made for a family game night called The Sittens. So I'm just gonna hit open there, and you can see it's got a whole bunch of stuff there. So to go back to the default questions, hit new file, and hit load default questions, it'll load them all in there for you. You can't save this because these are defaults and you can't edit those. So hopefully this new question editor is, uh, is we're, we are loving it. I uh, hope you guys love it as much as we do. Just hit save as and make a whole bunch of these. And then these files you can now share with your friends and share with other people and you guys can become the quiz masters. Okay, so that is how you edit the questions. When you're all done, just hit play. That'll slide out of the way and that will, that will reset the game and it's ready to, it, it blanks out the screen. So if you're ever in a game, So if you're ever in a game and you've asked a question, you know, oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that, we're gonna reset. Just hit edit and then play, and that will reset the game back to where you wanna be right here. So that will that will reset the, the that'll reset the game board. To reset the, the questions here, you'd hit edit scores, the uh, delete scores, and then save scores, and then you're back there. We separated that how to delete the, the scores and how to delete the, the game board as two separate moves. So that way, if you wanna keep uh, the, the the rounds going you can have as many rounds as you want so that is how that works so we hope that you guys love this as much as we do we think it's a real winner good did there all right well you guys are awesome if you have any questions let us know and we hope that you love this game as much as we do we'll see you next time